Hi guys, today our subject is cyanide toxicity. As you know, cyanide is a rapidly acting substance that is traditionally known as poison and can exist in many forms like as a gas hydrogen cyanide as celled potassium cyanide, also fine in manufacturing and industrial sources. As we can see, cyanide poisoning may result from a variety of exposures, including structural fires, industrial exposures, medical exposures that, uh, such as sodium nitroproceed and certain foods. Most common of cyanide poisoning is domestic fires. Cyanide also is used in um, a number of industrial applications, such as electroplating, uh, injury production, photography, plastics and rubber manufacturing, and pesticides. Sodium nitroproside is a medication used to treat a hypertensive emergency and contains five uh, cyanide groups per molecule. A lot. Toxic level of cyanide may be present in patients who receive prolonged infusions of sodium nitroproside. By pathophysiology, intravenous and inhalation of cyanide produce more rapid one set of signs and symptoms than exposure via the oral or transdermal route. The toxicity of cyanide is linked mainly to the cessation of aerobic cell metabolism. Cyanide irreversibly binds to the ferric ions, cytochrome oxidase 3, Within the mitochondria, this effectively helps uh, cellular respiration by blocking the reduction of oxygen to water. Cyanide's main effect is that it inhibits oxidase, oxidative phosphorylation, a process where oxygen is utilized for the production of essential cellular energy sources in the form of ATP. By binding to the enzyme, cytochrome C oxidase and blocks the mitochondrial transport chain. Cellular hypoxia and the depletion of ATP occurs, leading to metabolic acidosis. The utilization of oxygen by the tissue occurs and is followed by the impairment of vital function. Uh, the patient can present with symptoms as quickly as one minute after inhalation and, and within a few minutes of cyanide ingestion, depends on the road. If hydrogen cyanide was inhaled, the victim might detect a bitter almond odor. The clinical manifestations can be divided into early and late categories. Some early central nervous system uh, findings or signs are headache, dizziness, confusion and midriasis. These are due to hypoxia and seizures and coma can develop as it progresses to an altered level of consciousness. Early respiratory and cardiovascular signs include tachypnea and tachycardia while late findings include apnea, hypotension, and cardiac arrhythmia. cardiac arrhythmia. Hypertension and bradycardia are common in cyanide poisoning. It is important to note that a patient's skin can be a normal or slightly ashen appearance despite tissue hypoxia. Patients with cyanide poisoning will not be cyanotic but will have a cherry red color due to excess oxygen in the bloodstream. Oxygen is present but cannot be utilized properly. And the last line is treatment and management. Given the profound effect of cyanide toxicity, uh, should stabilize the patient's airway, breathing and circulation. It is standard ABC. Of, uh, of note that mouse-to-mouse -mouse resuscitation is contraindicated in cyanide poisoning because of the risk to the provider. Decontamination is a vital part of the management of a patient with cyanide exposure through topical and inhalation roads.
they must be removed from the source and have their clothing removed and discarded appropriately. GI or gastrointestinal decontamination must be administered quickly. Also, laboratory studies have demonstrated that activated uh, charcoal binds poorly to cyanide. Anyway, it can be given. It is uh, suggested that a single dose of 1 gram per kilogram be given. Another one is hydroxycobalamin or vitamin B12. It is the antidote of choice for acute cyanide poisoning, especially if the patient has coexisting carbon monoxide poisoning. The standard dose is 5 gram given intravenously over 15 minutes. Be aware that this antidote turns urine dark red uh, color. This is not due to uh, myoglobinuria. This is due to the drug properties. A cyanide kit may be used that is currently available and contains two uh, substances like sodium nitrites and sodium thiosulfate and you see, you see uh, corresponding doses below. Hyperbaric oxygen treatment remains controversial due to in inconsistent findings. So hydroxycobalamin and sodium thiosulfate are the main drugs used to reverse and prevent uh, complications for, from cyanide poisoning. Thank you very much and have a great time.